Welcome back to another video by the way behind the camera. Watch the full video to see the entire drone setup from BGL to Proceed. And like I said from the previous video, I want to show you more of this OIT road. And as I am right now in Bigelow, I've done a video from Bigelow right here all the way down to Senegambia to show you the progress of this road. And as I can tell, it's going really fast. And I'm sure you're gonna really appreciate it. I know some will say, okay, it's slow, but the amount of work that they did since the last rainy season to today is impressive. Let me show you how far it is or what the extent of the work is from here. Walking down about five to, sorry, maybe like 10, 15 minutes this way so this is almost how it's like on all sides okay i might expect to see um the middle of the road started to be constructed maybe a little bit uh further down okay but uh from here all the way to uh, the cursing junction the tarmac is already on the ground so today they are preparing that side moving towards the uh senegambia junction uh, to get the tamak on the ground. Yeah, the, I mean the black stone on the ground. Okay, if you have not seen that video, check the video right before this one. You should be able to see. Uh, yeah, the, or you can search OIC Road, Senegambia. Okay, so this will be OIC Road, Bigelo. So if you search OIC Road, Senegambia, Nice Gambia, you should be able to see that video. So let's keep walking and show you how it's like here. So right now, as I, as I said, I'm in Bigelo okay and uh, we are planning to do a full length of this OIC road from the airport side coming down all the way to the uh, where they end okay we're well, where they stop okay that's at Senegambia I guess that's in fact the first phase of this road so I guess they're trying to finish the whole first phase before the rainy season starts and so far what they have done you know the rainy season one so far what they have done I think they are gonna be able to finish it okay because when this is where it starts you know all this stuff that they have at the edges you know the erosion used to affect it okay and in fact it doesn't mean once the rain, rain starts they stop the work i think when it gets really heavy that's when they kind of pause okay they don't stop but they pause because if you put all these things on the ground and the rains or the rain rains that means you have to redo all that work again okay that means you have to redo all of that and that would be a lot more expensive you know putting the black or the red stones on the ground the rain comes and wash everything away you have to come and make it again so maybe that's why sometimes they kind of pause okay oh there's some uh some something right here it should be out but i think it's just it's not very sticky in there so if somebody or something kick it it should go out okay or if there's something sharp it should have gone out because uh if it's a high high speed lane we should not have slow stuff on the ground it might puncture or disturb your tire especially the tires that we have here in the Gambia because we usually buy used to tires hey vehicles you should not be running on this road or maybe they are RSK vehicles yeah they are RSK vehicles it's, it's not allowed to allow it's not allowed for somebody to walk in this road Oh, I mean not to walk, to drive on the road. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, this is how it's going here in the Gambia. The road is coming up very nicely, very fast, you know. Great quality. Let me show you the, 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 um, the level or the thickness of this road. You can see it's about, uh, seems to be like six inches from this angle. Seems to be six, five, six inches maybe even more okay so that's just an estimate and you know like i showed you in the previous video the reason why um i think it's really quality i don't know much about roads but i think it's really quality because this is the ground level okay this is the ground level and if you look at this road it's about maybe a meter raised up yeah it's been raised up about a meter so all those are layers one layer to another layer another layer no another layer another layer another layer multiple layers put together look i'm right above okay on top and you can see the uh other layer so this in fact is more than a meter yeah it's more than a meter and some other areas it is raised up to 1.6 1.5 meters especially around the uh, airport side when you're getting close to the airport side yeah those areas used to have uh they they, they raise some of the areas really high uh, maybe it's because of the landscape around that area, but it was raised. 
because we've been doing a lot of videos on the side you can in fact check it since the first few videos that we did on this OIC road because we've been covering it like since it started I think like a year or two ago we've been doing these videos every single month sometimes in a month we do it multiple times yeah so it's gonna be really nice to see how this work has come along you know checking from the first few videos that we did all the way to now it's beautiful and now we can say it's almost ready I know some of you be like hey man this nyaka I'm a nyaka follow you know but definitely if you're here you see what they're doing I guess you'll be really happy and beside that is way way better than any other road that we have it's wider you know three lanes big it's gonna cut down the amount of traffic that we see on the highway on the main highway and look it's so far looking really beautiful and I, I, somebody requested that we do a video on the Redison Blue Hotel, the five-star hotel that's supposed to be built. I guess it's somewhere around these bushes. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna ask around and see if uh, we can find a place and then go and do videos for you, or to at least uh, show you updates of those. Um, yeah those the progress of the hotel i mean yeah okay so i was just checking the thickness of that all right the thickness of that black stone over there deep down in bigelow and there is more car park over here cars selling centers we did few videos on the price of cars in the gambia and we got planned to do more and more of that maybe every few months Okay, just to show you more of the vehicles that we have in the Gambia and their prices. It's a nice BMW, nice white BMW. Yeah, I love BMWs. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna uh, show you uh, aerial views of this place, show you how the work is, you know, progressing. Uh, like I said, I, I think I said it in this video. I know I said it in the last video. We want to show you more of this OIC road working or showing you the full length of this OIC. We might walk, we might use a bicycle, we might use motorbike, or maybe, yeah, because we have to be on the, on the road. We can't use vehicles. We don't want to use vehicles because if we with the vehicle, we'll be at our sides, okay? So we might maybe go for bicycles or motorbike. In fact, our motorbike had an issue because if not, this would have been done a long, long time ago because it's much easier to do this kind of videos. Just motorbike it, bicycle it on the way. Yeah, because vehicles are not allowed. I don't think they will risk bicycles to run on this road because it's too tiny and risky to ride a bicycle on the sides because that side is for vehicles. So yeah, I think we can walk on this road or use a bicycle. Not so bad motorbike, but bicycle should be fine. I'm not saying bicycle owners should go and walk or, or ride your bicycle on the road. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a vehicle driving on that road. Oh, yeah, it's an RSK vehicle. Look, I think that is a stop over there. Okay, place for vehicle to pull over. Almost at Coco Ozone, and from here I can see. Um, I can see. Or oh, before I pass, look, that's very nice cabinets, wardrobes that they are making over there. All right, I'm saying I can see uh, a core view from here. Yeah, from here. So I've been walking from Senegambia, like almost 20, 30 minutes walk, and I have to walk back and go back to where I gonna pick vehicle to go home but we like we love doing these videos for you so yeah we can work hours and hours and remember some of the times we used to work like morning all the way up to evening we have our bag packed with you know apples fruits water just walk around and show you more of what the Gambia is like <laughs> yeah I remember so I work from Abuko all the way down to Kotu I also started from, you know, uh, last could not walk through uh, um, why, uh, what is the name of this place? 
Bundung and then meet Sabe around Kotu. <laughs> like five hours work, five, six hours work from morning all the way down to evening. Before you get back home, it's already late at night. So that's all for you to show you more of the Gambia. We like doing it <coughs> and we're gonna keep doing it inshallah. Oh I see wood the most anticipated most weighted road most talked about road in the Gambia <laughs> alright and we're gonna be doing uh, videos on the aqua view very soon somebody oh, we are already talking with someone to take us around so that we show you that aqua view we've never shown you that video uh, since it was been built you know that was the starting of the channel we had uh, to do a lot of other stuff but uh, yeah we're gonna find a place find a time to go and show you that beautiful uh, apartment buildings inside aqua view and a new one is coming up called diplomat i've already started showing you that look more and more buildings coming along this highway and you'll see that in the, in the next in the near future you see most of this side of the road will be having uh um will be having stores yeah stores ah uh, yeah i was saying stores around the entire length of this road so if you are if you are into business, you want to do business in the Gambia, just keep your eye around the side of this road. Okay, you would see a lot of people, you know, buying side of the roads or converting them from homes, fences, not homes, but you can see a lot of the empty spaces around. Most of them will be converted to stores. That's what happened with the main highway, Bikaw to Banjo. And it's also happening in wherever roads are being constructed newly you will see it happening here very soon in fact it's already happening around the, uh, the airport side most of those front compound or the road or compounds on the road have already started turning their front side of the compounds to shops yeah because in the gambia shops are mainly on the highway not deep down in the village or in the town cities like yeah but the front of the the side of the road man the side of the road <laughs> let nobody ask why i'm laughing all right the side of the road will always be shops like right? as you can see over there you can see a shop over here this too seems to have something going up over here all right That is the aqua view and right next to it you have the coco ozone and opposite the coco ozone you have a vehicle shop or shop that sells vehicles nice very very nice cars we did a video on that as well all right like i said i'm gonna be showing you this place for like maybe like 10 minutes they get into like 13 minutes so now from here, I'm gonna also try to show you an aerial side working, okay, flying a drone all the way to where I can get it you know, covered. So that we can, in fact, this might be the beginning of the full, <laughs> full, you know, land of this OIC road. Because I've already covered from, um, from Senegambia to Bejelo and getting to the, uh, Bruce Beach side is just about maybe another 10 minutes from here okay so I can quickly cover that with uh, the drone so you see it, how it's like from Senegambia down to uh, Bruce Beach so from Bruce Beach we're gonna start doing another video or we maybe we can even do one where we just have one video maybe like one hour long video showing you the entire length of the OIC road at least the side that have some significant progress yeah so you can see um almost you know everywhere is black 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 all right now you can enjoy the aerial views
Tschüss.